by J. Patrick Lewis and Beth Zapiteo. Illustrated by Tim Bowers. Once upon a time, there was a dog that was looking for the perfect place to live. Then one day, hmm, thought dog, this gives me an idea. I'll trot across the continents. That's what I'll do. And if I'm lucky, maybe I'll find the perfect place to live. So he set off to travel the world. Dog first arrived in Newfoundland. There he found a Newfoundland. She takes to water just like me, Dog barked. Who could ask for more? Just then, Dog remembered. Whoa, I've heard this furry giant can even be a lifeguard. All I can rescue is my dog toy. So Dog sailed across the Atlantic Ocean to London, England. Waddling near Big Ben was a slobbering English bulldog. He's rough and tough, thought Dog. Did he break that nose in a fight? I bet he has a sturdy brick home that would be perfect for me. But how could I get any sleep with all that snoring? So Dog traveled to France. There he saw a standard poodle. Puffy and poofy and spiffy, Dog marveled. But who wants to spend all day at the hairdresser's? Dog decided he just couldn't bring himself to parade around town without pants. So it was off to somewhere new. In Croatia, he thought at first he was seeing spots. But it was just dot to dot. A Dalmatian. Hanging out at the one place Dalmatians like best. Dog tried to play tic-tac-paw with her. But how can you have fun with someone whose best friend is a fire truck? What was waiting for him in Russia? The famous Borzoi. Wow, what an elegant creature. Dog was in awe. No, the life of the great hunting Russian wolfhound is not for me. The only thing I love to hunt is my dinner bowl. In China, Dog went in search of the strange-looking Sharpei. So soft, dog sighed, but so wrinkly. Not even an iron could get out those wrinkles. And look at that blue-black tongue. It's meant to scare off the evil spirits, but I'm afraid of my own shadow. Next, dog decided to go to Australia, the land down under, to see a dingo. After chasing him across the hot desert, dog thought, That lone ranger might be wild, but he's no party animal. Definitely not the place for me. I need fun, friends, excitement. And phew, this outback sun could roast a doggy burger like shrimp on the barbie. Good day, mate. Let's see, Dog wondered. Where else could I find the perfect place to live? Dog went to South Africa and met a Rhodesian Ridgeback. He soon found out that this Fido's favorite thing to do is hunt lions. What? I like cats, but rule number one is they have to be smaller than me. First a cow licked down its back, and now a house next to a lion's den? Dog shuddered. No thank you. Next, Dog went back across the Atlantic for a stop in South America. As soon as he met the Peruvian hairless, he thought, Yikes! Bald, baby, bald! Put some clothes on, why don't you? Dog brushed up against the creature. Why, her skin feels like it's heated. I can see why she's a pampered pooch. She's a bed warmer for humans. But I need a room of my own. Then Dog traveled north to Mexico. Ole, si, si, the chihuahua. Muy adorable, cried Dog. She loves to sunbathe too. But I'd get squished inside a purse. Oh no, I definitely need a house bigger than a lunchbox. At last, Dog was worn out from his worldwide travels, and a little sad, too, because he hadn't found the perfect place to live. He returned to his old neighborhood, walked over to his favorite park bench, rolled in the grass, and took a nap. When Dog awoke, he saw that somebody had left another newspaper on the bench.
Daddy, Daddy, can we keep him? Yes, we can. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram at AKC Education. To download the resource featured above, visit our Teachers Pay Teachers store using the link in the description below. See you next time!